Hi Jonathan, we're just about to make you a little tutorial before we uh, have this color tone created. So, here it is, turntable, amp, um, I already have it set up with the record, obviously it won't come with the record. Um, so, when you do get this, you'll notice that this screw and that screw will be elevated about an inch. What you're going to want to do is screw them in. The reason they'll be counter uh, screwed is that it's to hold the table down to make sure it doesn't bounce around during shipping. Um, once you put them back down you'll notice that there's like a little spring to the turntable that's to absorb any vibrations. So another thing you'll notice too under the platter you'll probably see we'll have stuck a piece of cardboard just to stabilize it so that's not spinning while it's shipped. Uh, you might see a couple of elastics here and there just to stabilize things so just go ahead and remove all of that. Um, Next thing to note is that this is the uh, record stacking spindle. That's there, again, decorative. Do not start stacking records, that's really not recommended. But we still leave it there uh, just because it looks kind of neat. And this is a 45 uh, record adapter. Those we probably will take off and put in a plastic bag for shipping just to make sure nothing moves around. Um, so let's start with the app here. So button-wise we have AC, so that's to turn it on. I'll just go through the button buttons quickly speaker off. That's to turn the speakers off if you ever wanted to hear with headphones and not have the speakers on. External speakers not used, that would be for a different system when the amp's in that system. AM reception would be surprising, you may get some, but with, with everything in the uh, airwaves now, it's uh, FM is very hard to pick up. Here's the FM button. AFC is what we always use in concert with the AF button, with the, uh, with the FM uh, button, just to um, to make the uh, the the, band, uh, the air band tighter so that there's less uh, interference between channels. So those two are always nice to use together. Reverse is just to refer to left and right speakers. Sim is a function that would have been used in another type of unit, so you can ignore that. Mono is to break the stereo, so you have the exact same mix in both left and right speakers. Auxiliary is another input that's not used on the system. Tape is where we have put the uh, wireless that we'll be uh, playing later, and phonos for the turntable. Knob-wise, it's all pretty well standards, FM tune, balance, treble bass, uh, volume, AM tune. Uh, contour button, this is what you usually see on a new st system that's called the loudness button. Essentially, it just boosts the bottom and the top. We always have it set in. Um, when it's out, it's kind of thin, but in, it sounds really nice. But again, it's, you know, it's whatever you like. Um, so let's start with the uh, FM. So. FM on, tune into a channel, there we go, and here's the AFC. Now notice at first I had the um, FM only and it was very staticky between channels, when I put the AFC it was jumping clearer to channels. So that's that's what essentially the, uh, the AFC does. Uh, these are for presets for the FM. Uh, we never use those. It's old. It can cause problems with the uh, tuner. Um, we recommend not even using this uh, this um, section. Uh, so when you want to tune something, just use your FM tuner. Um, okay, so move on to the record table. So leave it on. I'm going to go phono. So this, again, I'll show you, first of all, obviously we unlock the arm just by moving this back. Now I'm going to hit manual. The first time you use it, since the unit will have moved around, there's magnets and turntable, it'll probably do a cycle, like it'll go up, probably go out, go back and rest, and then turn off again. That's normal. It's just resetting itself. The second time you hit manual, essentially it'll just start spinning. This little, little lever pops out, and that's essentially just the pickup for the arms, so it just leaves it up. So if I just put it over the top here, it's not touching the record, till I gently squeeze this, and then it falls out. So I'm bringing it down here just to explain to you. If I want this to just go back into a seat, I can either lift, lift it and put it back and just go off, or I can just slightly go where you see auto here. I'm just gonna slowly go down here. 
and it'll automatically just go back into its resting spot. Now the way we use it is full manual. And what I mean by that, I'd rather just put it on the record. That way it's, you know, it's just a little safer for me and you know it protects your record. So I'm gonna go to manual again and just take it by the arm and just rest it down myself. Oh, sorry. Before I do that, obviously, since I don't want to use this, I'll squeeze this ahead of time before I move it out. So I just squeezed it in and I'm gonna move it out and set it down myself. Bring the volume up. So obviously you just cue where you want. Now what happens at the end obviously is when the record is finished, it'll just simply return back into its initial position. And once it seats back, the unit turns off again. So you can just let a record play. Once it stops, it just turns off. Okay, so next thing I'm gonna, we're going to check is the tape. So I'm going to turn it on right now with just a little volume. And I'm actually going to pair a phone for the first time so you know what it looks like. So I'm just going to go in my settings here. And other devices, shield, that's something else. I'm not really seeing anything. So what I do is that there's a little access under the Claritone behind a grill, hidden, that will send you a picture of its location. And essentially I'm just going to push it with my finger for about six seconds. And when you hear that beep, that means it's ready to pair. So if I grab my phone again, we see that Logitech BT adapter just appeared. I'm gonna click on that. And you hear a little chime to say that it's connected. Now all you have to do is go to any app you want to play music on. So I'm gonna to go to Spotify, for example. Here's the cars. And there you go.